Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How are you all today? Hope you're having a great day. As you can see, we're out on Classic. Brought along a friend. Hey, Riggy, how's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. That's a yeah, pretty flash blue outfit you've got going on there, my friend. Yes, it's pretty sexy, isn't it? Oh, extremely, extremely. <laughs> all right, so we're out on White Rhyme Ridge. We are going to do the second part of White Rhyme. Last time we were here... Oh, Zoom is awesome. We trolloped all around here looking for moose and bison and whatnot. I want a polar bear. Ricky needs a dull sheep. There's foxes. There is snowshoe here. There is all sorts. So let's go and see what we can find. And while I'm doing that, I will say hello to the chat. Killer, as per usual, in the chat room for the last hour. You are a legend, my friend. Hopefully your shoulder is all good. I know you've just finished your operation and everything. So hopefully it's gonna be a whole lot better when you get back sean was next in the room how are you mr johns followed by ricky racer and psycho oriental is here along with donald and dadnator beano goliath and elk the gamer how are you all hope you're having a great day i'm uh, yeah having a nice day it's a bit chilly out here but uh, i have all my nice woolly woolly clothes on so i'm good you right there ricky Sorry, I'm just writing to um, Beano here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hasek, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. The boys have been waiting for you. They uh, they quite enjoy the guessing game on Classic. So I have no idea with polar bears. I don't even have any idea where to find polar bears. I'm, um, um, last time I got one was out on the ice pack. That's what I'm assuming. So and, that's and where then I'm I died of hypothermia. Well, that's not very good. So that's good. something to look forward to. Awesome. Today. Awesome. Bit of hypothermia. Awesome. That's that's always fun. That's always it fun. Happens quick too. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. As you're cold, and then all of a sudden dead. Yep. You cold. You cold. And now you're dead. Yeah, I don't know. I um haven't spent a lot of time out here looking for polar bears. So if anyone in chat's got any uh, <clears throat> good suggestions, then um yeah let me know and hello mrs b how are you today good to see you and what I, I didn't miss you did i i'm sure i didn't miss you you've only just dropped in haven't you no she's been here for a while oh god i'm trying i'm trying and i thought david i had him monson i don't know whether you got him he's just no david too. monson welcome to the stream sorry i'm doing my best i did have most of them written down and the jerry can gaming has just dropped in as well how are you good to see you matey good to see you so yes, Hasek, where do I find polar bears? Apart from where I am, sort of wandering around the ice pack. I really don't know. It's like hurricanes out on the ice. Uh, so yeah, it's ice pack. Right, Just well. Along the pack. When I saw mine, it was sort of around this edge edge area and then running out onto the ice. Yeah, so. I've got good knockies and I've got a good spotting scope, so we should be able to find them. But I brought the 300 to take out the polar bears. I bought the 223 to take out the foxes. And I bought the 22 just in case we see any bunny rabbits. Because bunnies are fun. What did you bring along with you today? I have the 9.3 by 74R. Nice. And I also have the 22LR as well. Yep. And I have the 17 HMR with the HV and the normal bullet. Oh, nice. So you're all covered for all the animals as well. Lovely. Yes. That's the way to go. We gotta try and find Ricky a dull sheep because he doesn't have a big dull sheep in his lodge. And there you go, Bino says be careful shooting them on the ice. Sometimes you can't reach them to harvest. Yes, yes, that's yeah. I, I gathered that with the way that Ricky died of hypothermia and I can't remember who My else first was. one I got was just over here. Right I have shot on one. Peninsula. It was just out on the ice, sort of there ish, but um I've haven't really spent a lot of time coming out looking for them and so i don't have one in my lodge but i need one i need one you do because they look cool well the boys went out hunting the other day and ended up with a freaking 270 water buffalo so i want to see that i know uh tingo got a two 264 or 246 i can't remember now four i think it was 264 yeah then whale yeah, whale smashed it with a 270. It's like, really? Wow. So that's some pretty impressive stuff. 
I don't have anything that size yet, but I can go looking for water buffalo and stuff anytime. They're always fun. We'll try and call some foxes while we're trotting along. Like I say, this is probably... This is, I don't know if you can um, run and find things in this area. In the other area, it's a lot easier. Moose are uh, all over the place. Sitka deer roam around. Dull sheep are all over the place. And, uh, yeah, of course, <laughs> the bison. Because it's just great fun chasing them down. <laughs> don't know that you can run in this one too much on this side. They're, really They're super skittish like brown bear, but they blend in and become a real pain because of this. So it's hassock. Ah, righty ho. Cool, cool. Well, that's right. I know we can head up the hill and uh, through the trees and we'll find bunny rabbits and foxes um, and dull sheep up that way. I know they're there, so... But we may as well go for a little bit of a wander around the ice and see if we can uh, at least see a polar bear. That'd be really nice. They'll be around. Mine sort of just popped out on me. Yeah, well... Like Hassock, like Hassock said, they're um, extremely white and they blend in really, really well with the snow. They do. Same I as the foxes. Do. Yeah, I haven't seen a fox yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, the foxes, uh, they're, they'll come in, they take a while, but they will come in and, uh, yeah, you've got to be quite eagle-eyed to, to uh, see them because they blend in really, really, really well. I'm assuming the polar bears are going to be the same because, you know, polar bears and their black skin and all of that. Something's going to make a noise soon. Well, Jerry, I don't think so. Jerry, you got deer meat now? Nice. Excellent. I hope the stream is going all right for everybody. It was orange when I started, which is really strange. It's the first time I've ever had an orange start. It's green now. So it's showing it as good health now, but, uh, yeah. You can let me know out there if we are having any issues. Just so I can fix them before we get too far into a stream. Yes, I wish I'd realised my stream yesterday. Wasn't doing what it was meant to be doing, and I think it came out lesser quality than it should have. Oh, wasn't that a blast, though? Oh, it was good fun. For anyone that didn't see it check Riki's channel out, go back and watch us yesterday, we took out a uh, bit of a run on farming simulator 19 and uh, myself, Mr. Non-Inspirational and uh, that man over there, yeah, we had a bit of a, we had a, just, just a few minor issues with vehicles falling over on their sides, um, people suggesting that Non jumps through things and over trains so yeah if you haven't checked it out after the stream go and check it out it's worth a laugh we had a blast and michael bateman is in the house as well welcome to the stream michael how are you today for that matter how is everybody today i hope you're all having a fantastic weekend and i can say that because it is the weekend no matter where in the world you live just differs on days now days and hours oh that's good mrs b if you didn't see any problems yesterday no it was just I made a whole new setup in my OBS and silly me didn't go and check all the settings before I put it all up and it ended up only coming out at 720 instead of 1080. So, <laughs> sorry for anyone that likes to watch their videos in high def. <laughs> hey, it was alright, it was good fun. But it was an absolute blast. Non is, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, that's non-inspirational gaming absolute legend he is he is such a fun guy to game with just, he is yeah all yeah. of a sudden he'll just uh oh <laughs> it's like, oh <laughs> what have you done now oh <laughs> nothing yeah it's good good laughs good laughs vehicles were rolled and then flipped back over really really just not even hear anything that's Pretty, a bit strange isn't I'll it i go for a run over this hill a little bit we run and keep warm, it's a bit chilly out here. Oh no. Hang on, I gotta oh no. I'll be back. What? I didn't grab my face mask. Oh yeah. What? It's alright. It's alright. I didn't get too far before I realised that I didn't have that piece of equipment on. It's Make funny, it isn't it? Gold. I can wear my cowboy hat 
no problems at all. Yet I have to have that face mask on, otherwise I'll get hypothermia and just, yeah, that'll be the end of it. That will be the end of it. And you're right, Mrs. B, it was um, extremely fast. That two hours, went, it just blew by yesterday. I've, uh, yeah, didn't realise it had gone and then all of a sudden it was like, oh wow, look at that, it's over. Um, and yes, Jerry... Yes, was putting on the dance show with the machines. Oh, you know, hey, you gotta, you got to have a bit of fun with them. I managed to get it to flip over the trailer, so I was quite impressed with that. Uh, yes, Jerry, I did actually see the EW, I think it was Who Cares, put out a video on it the other day um, on the new vehicles coming to Classic. They are Jeeps. Um, yes, I saw that. Yep, yeah, you can put your dog in the back um, and you can have a mate sit with you, but if they bring a dog with them, their dog just magically appears wherever you get to. There is... Uh, your, your second dog won't sit in the back yet. Um, I think they said you get 50 units of fuel. Every member gets 50 units of fuel a day to use. But from the sounds of it, that 50 units of fuel will only get you from um, sort of one outpost to another, maybe. Uh, if you want extra fuel, you have to buy it. But they look interesting. As they said, though, they're not really for hunting. They're more for... If you are like me, um, as you'll see on this map, there are no tents, no blinds, no anything set up. Um, a lot of my maps are like that. And that's more or less what they reckon it's for. So you can load up all your gear, drive around and set up all your tents and your blinds and bits and pieces. That could be spin tires. It could be. And hey, Haywood, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that's right. But see, I mean, how much is the Utes going to cost as well? That's the other thing. Exactly, Bino. Um, a player like yourself, um, Hasek, Flinter, it's probably not going to be really any good to you because you guys have already got your um, blinds and tents and whatnot set up in your areas. So, yeah, you yeah, really well, don't need true. it. So it's, it, I mean, it's going to be a personal preference thing, obviously. Some people will buy them because, hey, let's face it, how cool is it to own a Jeep and Classic? It's pretty cool. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'd be all over that. That'd be, that'd be great. All right, you find anything for me to shoot yet? You? You've been looking? No, I'm looking out on the shipwreck. Out on, on the, the ice pack. Out on the shipwreck on the ice pack? Yeah, there's two big shipwrecks out here. That's where I found mine. Oh, okay big polar bear my mail actually I'll get me spotting scope out because that gives me a whole lot further uh, zoom anything out here no no and no yeah bush rangers run Jerry would probably be handy like I say I think it's more about being able to set up your locations than it is being able to like the ATVs in Call of the Wild I mean, the ATVs in Call of the Wild, I've proved it. You can go hunting off them quite effectively if you really want to. Um, yes, you can. I had everyone do it for Wreckfest. And, uh, yeah, I think we killed like 60 or 70 animals that day, so. Oh. Oh. What did you hear? Fox. Fox? Ooh. Fox, I right don't me. Right ahead of us. Grouch down then. Yeah. Yes, well, that's right, killer. You don't want to shoot. But then you can actually get out. I don't know how far. I have been out a little way to collect a polar bear that I did shoot. Um, but, yeah, I don't know exactly how far out I'd be tempted to go. Although if I shot one out there, I'd have to go and try and find it. Yes. Oh, we lying down, are we? We're going, we're going sneaky. It was fairly close to us, that's all. We're going sneaky, people. I don't know where we're going to be able to see it or not. So it's on us if we're laying down. Well, you can sort of pop up and then lay down real quick. Um, if you're good. Which... Yeah, I'm not that good. Hayward, you got a level 9 Buffalo 978 and a level 5 Kudu 998. Well done, Hayward. 
That is awesome. I still don't have a diamond uh, diamond cape. That's um, yeah, one of the things on my list eventually to get. I'm waiting for the uh, the gems box to come out. At the moment, once they are out, I'll uh, hook back into a bit more classic and see how we go. Ah, oh, classic, Call of the Wild. But uh, I'm having so much fun with classic. It's the range of animals, the range of places to go hunting. The people you meet. I mean, I've met some new and interesting people. Popped into the channel to see us all because we're doing classic, so that's fantastic. It's always yep. good to have new community members. And yeah, it doesn't surprise me you're not yeah. going to buy it, Hasek. Um, like I say, for you guys, it's probably not a really super viable option. I don't know whether Fl Flinter might. I'm not sure. He might do it just for the sake of having a Jeep. Any foxes out there coming to say hello? No. Where was it? Anything. Was it over towards those big trees? <clears throat> it was pretty much straight ahead of us up over to those trees sort of thing, yeah. Where I'm looking now. Yeah, we can keep calling. They do take a while, man. The foxes are slow. They're, uh, yeah. Little beggars, in my opinion. Trying to get them to come in sometimes. Same as the red fox. I don't have a whole lot of luck with them. Unless I'm really, really patient. Most of the time, well, you know me. Moves it dies, I'm not really super patient. Yep. Yeah, well that's true, Bino. Waiting for the cooldown, you wouldn't have to. You could just get in your Jeep and drive. Like I say, oh, though... I see it, I see it. You see it? Yep. Okay. Yeah. 60 meters out. Whereabouts am I looking? Up the hill or? Uh, right where I'm looking now, it's coming down through the tree there. Uh, yep, I I've can't got the see. Spot on it. Well, if you've got the perfect shot on it, then you should probably shoot it like that. Not with the 22 though. Got it. Oh, unpermitted shot. Yeah, you really needed the um, 17 HMR so I mean, with the HV bullets in it. Yeah, I should have actually had that in instead. But that's all right. <laughs> Bit of target practice. Well, first kill of the day, unpermitted. There Bit of target there. practice. Interesting to see what it was, actually, whether it was a male or a female. There's some good shots on it. Yeah, 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 lots, by the sounds of it. Yeah, yeah, Flinter probably will do it for the video, Hasek. You're right. Chuck it up on his channel. Yeah, buy all of the Jeeps. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me either. What have we got here? What was this? Is this a fox? Oh, yeah, this is where you hit it. Body. Body, okay, body, yep. body, body, body. The hell is that? Don't know, something random. Wow. Poor fox. It's just yeah. gonna... Female, 1.9 kilos. Disqualified. Disqualified. Alright. I'll put my other gun in. Probably help. That way you, you know, you'll legally be able to take a fox down. And they're with the HVs, aren't they? Yeah, foxes are HVs, the uh, bunny rabbits are the normal bullets. Too used to the call of the wild, that's right. It doesn't matter what that's gun it. you're shooting with. You just shoot it. <laughs> 22, take out a moose. You'd be like Julia Child and take out a bison. I love the loading on this 17 HMR. Pull the little rod out. Yes, yes. Load it up. It is quite... Uh, 10 rounds in, 11 rounds. Quite cool. The only problem is when you go to swap out, you've got to reload the whole whole sort of thing again. Yeah. Oh, look, that's a snowshoe here. That'll be gone now. That was going that way. But I will collect tracks just because I need the tracking skill on them. Bullet pooped on the snow. Yeah, yep, yep. Oh, that's another one. Hey, that's what I want. 
All right, so now we need to come down here and get it to come to me. Come on, Fox. Can you come to me? It's not really the greatest position for it, to be honest. Where is it? Uh, actually, I could probably sneak up to it. We'll see. We might be able to get up to those trees, up to that rise. This could be all a complete failure, and it might scare it away. But I'm going to give it a go anyway, because you know, it's a fox. It's an arctic fox though, fox, so it's all good, man. Sorry. Double XP for tracking. Ooh. I did not know that. I did not wow. know that. I was actually meant to be um, jumping on and doing some of the turkey stuff, but I got a little wrapped up in Farming Simulator 19 and sort of haven't put it down. So, sadly, I haven't done any, uh, any classic for about a week. Matthew Murphy's in the house. Welcome to the stream. Having a fantastic day, mate. Hope you are too. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Where are you going to come from, Fox? Really we got down. bunny rabbit poop down here. Yeah. Yep, we do. Oh, see, it's tough in these areas. Unless I frightened it off. Unless it was just there. I know it went down that way. So it's down there somewhere. Whether I can get it to come into me or not is another story. But we will see how we're going. Um, I don't know about the electric predator. Hasek, Bino, you guys will know. Does the electric predator... Call yeah, in I the... think it's Lynx and Arctic Fox. Lynx and Fox. Oh, there it is. I can see it. You can see it. I can see it. And it is... Once I've spotted it, a male. So... <sighs> yeah, it's... Yep. Yeah, this 223 is beautiful. I'm going to say I really like this gun. Seventeen. They made the gun up in real life. You can't. Have it. Yeah, bottleneck bullets. That's right. Exactly. How's it could um, it'd blow up in your hands? But it's a fantastic little gun. And Ernesto Speedo Speedo, welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you today? Thanks for tuning in. Oh, what's that over there? Is that an antler sitting in there? That's a tree. All right. Guess is up, people. Your Arctic cousins, yeah, sorry. He looks like he's a little bit fat. Decent I size. I don't know, have we got any tracks for him here anywhere? No, no, no tracks, oh well. Oh yeah, he is a decent size. It's not bad. Nobody really got to look at uh, his weight or anything like that though, so we'll pick him up and see what he is. Seven kilo male. You gonna give me a score? You gonna play with me? Fifteen. I don't know what a good score on a fox is. Fifteen three said Psycho. You were close. Fifteen five. Fifteen five. I have no idea what a good score on a uh, fox is. Oh yes, it might be just Lynx and Coyote actually, that caller. Well that's what yeah. I wondered. I wasn't sure. I didn't yeah, I had no real idea because I don't actually have the um, motion predator decoy caller. David says he shot a 162 white tail and a 194 muley with a shotgun. Nice. Nice. And uh, Matthew Murphy gets 15.0. Nice. He's weren't far off. Like I say, I don't know what a good fox is supposed to score. 20, 20 or 30. 30. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. I'm still learning, learning the scores in this game, something fierce. They are um, confusing to say the least, considering I started on Call of the Wild, not on Classic, so. Uh, dump, 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 dump. Other rabbit track. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there'll be 
any bunnies up here because we're definitely not well, we're walking away from polar bear zone which is fine we can do that we can we go back rabbit tracks this way yeah yeah i've got rabbit tracks over here as well 17 is leaderboard 13 plus is nice oh there you go <coughs> okay cool oh well i'll be mounting that after the uh after the game thanks hasik awesome I honestly, like I say, I didn't know. I would have looked it up after the game. I've got a um, sort of a cheat sheet of... I mean, Flinter gave it to me. It's rare animals, but it gives you a basis on what you could look at to mount. So I've been running with that. Oh, hello. This bunny's done all sorts of weird and wonderful things. I'm going over this way, because this is what it says it's going. Yeah, this one says going over here. You should, Jerry. It is... Um, it is a fun game. I don't think the moose are over here. Um, no. The moose are over the other side. This is sort of polar bears, dull sheep, snowshoe, and um, foxes. That's all right, Bino. That's that's why we have uh, people like yourself and uh, Jerry and Hassock in the chat, mate. So I can ask questions as well. And anyone else in the chat that asks questions also gets Ooh, to know. Dull sheep. Dull sheep. Dull sheep. Big dull sheep? Two of them. Little dull Two sheep? Two of them. Okay. There's a big one there. Okay. Hang on. I'm coming. On anyway. Oh, I don't need to uh, crouch, obviously. 170 out there. Um, yep, hang on a second. I'm going to find where you're looking. There's three trees. They're just beside the three trees to the left of them. This is... Oh, okay. Ah, uh, oh, yep. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting each other. But they're two big males. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is great. Have you not seen this? This is awesome. They actually, they uh, headbutt each other. That oh, one. Did the, they? Yeah, that one at the back. Looks yeah. quite nice. Okay, we'll, we'll walk up and uh, you can have a shot at that one if you like. And while you're having a shot at that one, I might try and shoot the other one. Okay, we'll just, just crouch down a little bit so we don't spook them off. Yeah, he's got, um, they curl back round, so they're not too bad, not super, super huge. I'll get a mark no, on them. First dull sheep. I could be wrong too, though. See, like I say, I have no idea. He's a 75 to 105 kilo, so not super, super large, but Which still Which one nice. are you looking at? The one at the back? No, the one at the front. Yeah, the one with its the one with its backside facing us. Yep. Yep, well... We'll get oh, up. I want to just turn him now. Yeah, well, if you've, oh, got, yeah. if you've got a shot on it, let me know. Yep. Okay, count us down. Three, two, one. Oh, look at them both drop side by side. Beautiful work. Oh, stand up. That's it. Thank you very much. One on the left is nice. Pino, yeah. What 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 have I got that beats your best, Hessek? Was that fox better than your best? Nice. That's great. I'm definitely putting it in the lodge there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that was what was cool coming up two dull sheep like that? They knew we were coming. Yep, they did. They did. And Thanks what was killer. that what was that that you hadn't seen before, Sean? Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Nate Drake is in the house. Welcome to the stream, Nate. The foreign squad. Yeah, that's right. Some, uh, you just gotta, I got used to doing it in Call of the Wild. We just learnt to, um, yeah, count each other down. So, classic's a little bit harder with the gun wobble if you don't have very good skills on the guns. And my 300 mm. doesn't have a whole lot of skill on it. But I'm happy with that. It's a couple of nice dull sheep down. Squad right there. <laughs> yeah, well, animals will learn in this place, I swear. Don't mess with us. We will clean out and eradicate all the problems. So this was just a small one. So we'll pick him up. 82 kilo, 95. Yeah, just a little one. Go over and have a look at Riki's beast. Ah, oh, fighting sheep. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite cool. I actually seen it on um, Flint, one of Flinter's videos. 
He was down watching them. Actually, that's not bad. That's quite a nice curl. That any, is a nice curl. Any guesses, people? Oh, 13.9 is your best ask this season. Yeah, what's what's in your lodge, though, Bino? And see, I didn't actually enter any competitions. I probably should have. I've got to remember to do that. Oh, you can pick him up if you want. All right, well, we'll pick him up and see what he is. 91 kilos, 136. They're not bad. I don't know what's in your lodge. I'm not sure. I haven't got one. You haven't got one? Well, you have now. Let's continue it's on. First. We'll see if we can find a bigger one for you. 36.9, 38.6. Close. Close, guys. Only 100 off. 180 for Bino's thing there. So that would be what we need. 180, 180 would be a decent size. I got a 195, 194 and a 202 sitting in my um, sitting in my lodge for dial sheep. Mr. One. Sean's playing seven days to die. Nice, nice. That's the way, Sean. Watch out for the horde, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll try and get him something bigger than that, Hasek, but Ricky likes to um, put uh, animals up just as placeholders as well. Just fills his lodge up a little bit more, and it means he knows what he's working towards getting something bigger. Yep. So if we don't get him anything bigger, he probably will mount that one until we uh, come out the next time, and we might even go over the other side the next time, try and find him a bigger one. That's where I found my 202. But he needs to keep a spreadsheet for his lodges. Wow, jeez. That's some animals in lodges if you've got to keep a spreadsheet. Well, to be honest, I really don't know what's in mine either. I no, well, that's true. My, I mean, I haven't even mounted the bear I got off my last classic stream with you yet. Oh, haven't you? No. I did the, um, I did the big water buffalo. Yeah, no, I haven't, re I haven't yeah. mounted anything or moved anything around. I got really slack. I had, um, I had other things taking up my, uh, taking up my time. All right, we go for a bit more of a jog through here, through the old oiling, whale, whale slaughtering place, I suppose, oil refinery for whales. It's not for everyone, Jerry. It's um, it's a fairly hardcore survival game, and it takes a lot of effort. I know uh, a friend of mine has spent hours and hours and hours and hours in their building base and yeah like it's impressive enough it's it's not my sort of game either i don't do the base building things i'm i'm not a builder unless i build cities so do so who who will ah, words english get it out who will out there's play oh look there's a moose shit on the ground who are like this plane at the moment? Either Call of the Wild or Classic. Or are you just parked up watching me? And this man over here in his lovely blue outfit. You really need to update that outfit at some stage. I do. You, you sort of blend in with nothing, really. Not really, no. I'm bright blue walking around. Yep. A polar bear about 18 or over is good. Don't they go to the same as grizzly? I thought they went to the same as grizzlies and stuff. You're looking for, like... 20, 28s and above because if an 18 is good then the one that I think it was you killer was it you that got the freaking monster polar bear and asked me if a 28 was good I can't remember now someone asked me I was like oh yeah well I, I think so I, I'd assume it's the same as a bear just watching to see the circuit eh? nice oh, nice Yep, yep, Mrs. B as well, just parked up watching. <clears throat> Typical mule deer over 200. Yeah, I don't even, I've got a mule deer. I think I've only ever shot like three of them the whole time I've been playing the game. I really should get out onto um, Timbergold and take one down. I heard a lot during, uh, during Halloween. I heard a whole heap, so I never actually... Saw any? Because um, there's a big set 
a moose rack sitting over there. Yeah, 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 it's a shed. Oh, it is a shed? Okay. Yep. Thought it might have just been the top of a moose. No, 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 no. It's just, just a shed. Grizzlies go to 26. Polar's max at 33. You want a 29 or a 30. There you go. And yeah, I thought it was you, Killer. Because that was the day you got like three or four freaking trophies in one go. It was a phenomenal day for you. Yes, Monster Roo. Which, what the hell? How big was your Roo, Killer? Because I think I've got an 84 sitting in my lodge. It's not super, super huge, but... It was good enough to mount. I want an albino one now that I know they're out there. I really, really wouldn't mind an albino kangaroo. I think that would just be uh, absolutely amazing. They look phenomenal. No polar bears, eh? They just didn't want to come out and play today. Didn't want to come out. Yeah. Like, no, no, we know you're streaming. You can uh, get knotted. No polar bears for you. But we'll keep walking around. We've got plenty of... Uh, Plenty of map to walk around. Memory of scores finally comes back. On classic, yes, David. Excellent. Okay, fair enough, killer. Fair enough. Yep, no, I can understand that. I know you got, um, yeah, a few monsters that day. I've got photos of them all. Now... Yeah. You can have the shed if you want it. It's just a oh, collectible. Have yeah, haven't you? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a collectible. I'll let you have that one. I'll just keep it walking. It's only small. Sometimes you get doubles. Sometimes you get Sitka deer ones. I haven't seen a dull sheep, but then I don't think they drop their antlers, so or their horns, rather, so... 65, that one. 65? Nice. It just adds to your hunter score. Two people with th over 31. That's a big friggin' bear. I'd that like is. to see, see I'd like to see something that big. That would be nice, but that's large. Now, apparently they used to charge you. Um, do they still charge you or do I they know, not the still I shot dropped? Yeah, well, <laughs> That male, I shot it in the heart from, uh, I think it was only about 70 meters out. Nice. Yeah, no, was... yeah that's right, killer. Um, yeah, Hasek or Beano, do polar bears still charge or did they take that out of the game? Because if they still charge, I'm going to start running. I think they're skittish though. Which is a shame because I remember watching a video, I don't know how long ago it was now. I'm pretty sure it was Flinter. And he had a polar bear charge at him. I was like, well, yeah. Yeah, something else that charges. I know grizzlies and stuff will. If you're in their area. And they sort of notice you before you notice them. Because I've been eaten by a few grizzlies. Polar bear, polar bear. Wherefore art thou, polar bear? It's just not on. Yeah, they do charge. Excellent. Are they like the bears though? They'll only charge if you're in their zone and they get annoyed with you or can you run at them like you can with the bison and the buffalo? Not as much as... Uh, they do, but it's rare. Okay. Well, that's a shame. That is yeah, a shame. Yeah, I think that made them so they're a bit more skittish that than it. charge you. What have we got? Oh, yeah, now we got, we got heaps of map. We'll find a polar bear. We will find a polar bear. What's this track up here? Let's follow some tracks. These will be fox. Arctic fox fleeing. So he must have heard us before. Only when they're feeling the mood. Yeah, that'd be right. You know what I'm like. I like animals that charge. It's, uh, it's a thing. It's so much easier to hunt them when they're running at you. It used to be all the time they charged. It's, I love it. I think that's probably one of the uh, the better parts of the game. 
is the fact that animals like the bison and the buffalo will actually charge you. I mean, they'll do it in real life, so why not in the game? And the Hunter Gaming is here as well. Welcome to the stream. How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Yeah, well, that's right. It, it would have made them easy to hunt. But then the bison and the buffalo are easy to hunt purely because you can run around and charge them. I think it adds to the game. I mean, I don't know if you charged at a polar bear in real life whether it would come at you. I would assume so. I mean, if I was a polar bear and I seen some skinny little dude running at me going, ah, I'd be eating your face. There's no doubt about it. It's a polar bear. They're like half a ton animal. So... Yeah, but like a normal bear, you just make yourself look big and they usually run away. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether a polar bear would. They're fairly aggressive, apparently. They oh, used to yeah. behave like bison. They changed them and it did not... No, no, it wouldn't have gone well with the community. Like I say, Hasek, it's one of the things that really attracts me to hunting certain species on the map is that you can run at them and they'll run back straight at you. It's like, well, yeah, come at me, bison. Let's go. I mean, I'll take them on with a recurve bow. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. you just got to have some fun. So that fox has gone up that way, and it didn't like us at all. So it probably heard yep. us shooting those goats, I would say. I don't see him up there anyway. Nope. I need to stay out by this edge somewhere so I can find these polar bears. Yeah, I'm staying around the edge. Sort of walking around looking. The first time I ever came out on the second part of White Rhyme, there were two polar bears. And hey. I shot them. What? Fox running past you. Where? It's here. Oh. No, it's running away behind us now. I walked just about on top of it. I didn't even see it. I walked through there. A little male. A little tiny male. Yeah. I didn't even see it, and I was wandering through there and all. Yeah, there you go, see? There's a polar bear that helped push a ship off some ice. So, they're pretty big. I have seen one in real life. I've seen the ones at SeaWorld. It's uh, not really a great place to keep polar bears in Australia. But they do it. They're quite nice looking animals. But yeah, I wouldn't want to see one running around on the ice at me, I'll tell you that much. No. Somebody has a pet polar bear, Mrs. Beard? You gotta be kidding me. Pet polar bear. I know about pet grizzly bears, and the Russians have pet black bears and brown bears for their circuses and whatnot, but a pet polar bear? Really? Wow. That's some, uh, <laughs> that's some training went into that, I bet. Some food, too. Or some people. One of the two. Wow. Yeah. It's a people industry. Um, any polar bears out on this bit of ice? Really, polar bears? You're just going to play hide and go lie in the snow today. You don't want to be shot. Well, that's just not on because I came out here specifically to try and find a polar bear. We found a fox or two. We found a dull sheep or two. Where the hell are my polar bears? Is it normally this hard to find polar bears? Not when I came out, they were just there. Mr. DK, welcome to the stream, buddy. 3.30 in the morning, you are a trooper. Your daughter got you up? Yeah. Yeah, they'll do that. <laughs> oh, all good, buddy. Thank you for stopping by. As you can see, it's a bit of classic today. Hunting a bit of polar bear, if we can actually find any polar bear. We haven't managed to find a single polar bear yet. It's a bit of a shame, really. The human polar bear. He swims and lives with a polar bear. He's also known for swimming and something. Okay. Wow. you got to be keen to be swimming in that stuff with polar bears. you just got to be keen to be swimming in that stuff full stop. That'd be cold. There's some mad people in the world, I tell you. What's that over there? That's like... Really? 
That looks like three barrels. Let's go and investigate that while I'm on my way over there. In the meantime, any bunnies, any foxes, nothing. Um. Oh, saw a National Geographic of a polar bear attack some people, took a 44 mag to the face. Wow. Do I have the new crossbow pistol, David? No, not yet. Um, it will be on my list of purchases once I... Uh, Yo, oh, there's a polar bear. We found one. Found one. I found one. It's a female, but it's gonna be shoosted. About bloody time, bear. Yeah. We're only 46 minutes into the stream. What took you so long? Jeez, I don't know. The big animals took a while to spawn in. Yeah. Do not get the crossbow pistol. I, I just want it because it's a crossbow pistol. I don't really care. Um, now, this is going to be interesting. So where are you looking? Right over on the far, far hill, basically. Where the little, there's a little inlet on the ice there. Yeah, she's going to go out of render, so we're going to have to follow her. Which is a bit rough. I didn't want to have to follow her. She should make noise and it makes it easier to follow her. The Bondi icebergs. Yeah, I, I don't get people jumping into freezing cold water. Each to their own, you know. Whatever floats your boat. Um, I swim when it's hot to cool down. Not when it's cold to freeze. Oh, I see one way over on the other side. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's the one, the female. Yep. The rare and majestic polar bear. 190 from me. And yeah. she's just gone into the water. Oh, you're looking at a different one. Where are you looking? Way up. Oh, uh, where are you? You're there. So I look pretty much straight ahead of you, right up to the top of the cove. Yeah, that's the... Oh, look, there's a fox. We'll probably get that to come Female, down. so it's yeah. obviously the same one. Yep. She's going across now, she's actually getting out of the icebergs and going back up onto the bank. Oh, okay. Now this one was actually on the. Yeah, this one was on the icebergs. It's coming no. back down the icebergs again now. No, no, no. This one, I've got one that's right up in the snow, going through the trees up the top. So... Oh, okay. Well, there's one oh. up and down towards you. Yeah, I can see you now, way over there in the distance. Look, not only do we find one, we find two. Um, okay. I don't know how we're going to get to that, but we'll have a look. Well, she still... Oh, she just went into the water. That's right. Hopefully she'll uh, swim back out of the water. There Here's she up. is. Back up on the ice. And now she's going back down into the water. Yeah, see, she's not in a really good place to be um, trying to nail it, quite frankly. No. Nope. But we will work our way around there. We won't worry about that fox too much unless it sort of maybe pops its head out. Yeah, apparently, killer. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does wonders for your house and circulation and all of that sort of stuff. And yeah, no thanks. Yep, no, no, don't really have any interest in. We should be able to get this fox, actually. If it'll uh, wander over the hill. What the freaking. Oh, okay, that was. Wow. I wow. didn't know they made that noise. What's that? The fox. There's a fox just up the top of the hill here by the. Um... Where are you? Oh, you're way oh, over there. Okay, you're, you're, you're miles away. There's a fox just up here. I don't know. I'm just keeping an eye on that bear. She's still out there. She's still out there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, just the big iceberg there. Yeah, no, I was looking back at one. On the main... She's back on the main ground again. That's good. We'll have to head that way shortly. Here's this fox. Okay, so we'll take you down as well while we're here. Hopefully this won't spook the polar bear. I'll keep an eye on the bear. Oh, yep, missed, it's um... spooked. 
Big, big time. Wow, that was some shocking shooting on my behalf. Did you shoot it? No, it's running up the hill. No, I missed completely. Like every shot. That was disgraceful. Oh. That was shocking. Wow. That polar bear bolted. It did. That's all right. We know yeah. where they'll. I know where they'll be. They'll be around the other side of the cove. No, the polar bear won't glitch out. I'll scare it away. Oh, I did hit it. Okay. That's a surprise. I really didn't think I'd got it. So it's going to die somewhere. Up here. Whoops. <laughs> oh, normally I'm pretty good with that gun, but uh, yeah. I didn't even see that track. There's the blue bubble. Show me the tracks. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, there we go. There's another one. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I thought it might, but... Oh, well. The fox was there. It had to be shot. Now, that's the Roman. So, maybe this is the fleeing. Over here. No, that's the Roman. Maybe this is the fleeing over here. Okay. It's gone back to roaming with the body shot, really? We may not find this one. There's the fleeing. It was a learning moment. Yep, yep. And uh, <laughs> I like to learn things the hard way, Hasek. I'm, uh, yeah, I've never been really good at just, you know, learning things the easy way. Mark Dumas is the man who swims with polar bears. I'll have to look that up after the stream. That sounds um, extremely dangerous and, yeah. Fleeing this one here. That's a fleeing one. Yeah, I've got the moments again, so. I like this a fleeing this one. Come on up. No, that's a Roman. I'm not sure on the spook range. It's gone back to Roman again, so that's fine. It'll die eventually. Somewhere over here. I may find it, I may not. Um, yeah, that's a fleeing again. Okay, so the fleeing tracks are further apart. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe that's what I'm learning while I'm tracking these things. Yeah, pick them all up. It's the same one. I thought about Helps bringing all your tracking. I thought about bringing the 17. I really did, but I just like the 223. It's um, it's just a nice gun to shoot. So, and Ricky was bringing the uh, 17 along with him. Okay, well, let's go on through that way. I'm just going to whip around the side of this hill. If you want to, yeah. See if any of these polar bears have. Sort of stayed in the vicinity anywhere. Because ultimately, I still want a polar bear. I mean, I'm not going to mount it if it's a female polar bear and it's only a small one, but I want. Aha, there's a polar bear. I knew she wouldn't be far. No, it's just a tree. Well, don't fall down the mountainside. That's not a good thing. You will die. that one of our females I'd say that is and from do I take the long shot do I take the long shot on a polar bear with the 300 I've got the big scope so it's not really an issue of being able to see it the spot yeah that's this oh definitely hit it there goes another arctic fox. I don't know whether it's your one. Probably was. Well, I hit it. I hope I hit it. I think that's it going there. So we'll just put a marker down there. So I can head down there and find it. We'll see. The 
The bolt action 223. Yes, it's a very nice, very nice gun. And I have the, uh, I do have the grasshopper with me for bunny rabbits. I like it. It's handy for uh, goose shooting as well, just quietly. Then I get those long distance shot. Wim Hof, the man who swims in freezing water for 15 to. Th Is that that German dude that like goes underneath the ice and stuff? Because you'd say an intestine shot. It's quite possible, Jerry. Wouldn't surprise me. I tried to go a little bit higher on the hopes that maybe to drop down through the lung. But we will see. We will see when we get over there. Might just end up being another one of those animals that I lose accidentally and Doc has to go and get yep, up on. This me. thing um, is still running. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was probably not too far away when I took the shot on that polar bear. And uh, then it bolted. Yep, well, you're going to be chasing for miles, I think, because... No, yeah, don't chase it. It's all good. We might come across it as we're wandering down that way later. We're almost at the um, end of the peninsula here, so we're going to have to turn around and head back up that way. I should go and see if I can find where I possibly wounded this... Uh, Yep, yep, I thought so, Psycho. I've seen him, he sort of drops in on one side of an ice pack, swims underneath it and comes out on the other. It's like, wow. See, this thing, I don't even know if this is the right one because there's no blood or anything. Yeah, they stop bleeding and just go to roaming again. They're like the deer. The deer do the same thing. They'll just go to roaming, then all of a sudden they'll... Whoa, that's... Um, a polar bear roaming. Oh, there was another one up here. Okay. Hello. Wow, that's gone back inland. Oh. Miles inland. Don't worry about it. What do I say? It's all good. So, I don't know whether you got a good shot on it or not. Might have only been a flesh wound, too. It was only a flesh, flesh wound. I can guarantee you that it was a body shot. Um... Um, this could be interesting. I could get charged by a polar bear. Because I think I'm going to really annoy it by sort of walking up to it. Wish me luck. If it attacks me, I'm a dead man. Where are you, polar bear? There you are. Ooh, actually, I could put the scope on that. That's a little more comfortable like that. Hey, he's right there. Oh, come on, that had, that had to be a lung shot, surely. I didn't see it get hit. Oh yeah, it hit it. I saw the bullet wound. And there's the other one. pick up that blood but that's cool because I've got a spot there but we'll go and find this one and see what I did to it I would have thought the 300 would have uh, yeah done at least a bit of damage sunglasses is what I require there look at that that takes away a bit of the glare but it also takes away where the hell I shot my bear at really I know I got it I know I got it I saw the bullet hole Oh, see, it gets so hard to see your tracking domes with this snow. Oh, what's that? Need to change colour. I uh, got it now. No, now I can see them again. It's, it's Sometimes it's just really, really bad. This thing's gone down in the water, hasn't it? Where'd you go, polar bear? Where did you go, polar bear? Really? I've got two polar bears. Yeah, there's two polar bears. There was a female there as well. It was running around like a nutter. That's the one I thought you shot. I'm on its trail now. It's dead. Or at least one of them is. So we'll go and pick this one up. And then we'll go back and see if I can locate the other one that I shot at. 
Well, that's what I thought, Jerry. It had to be lungs. Had to be. I mean, look at the shovel. Oh, maybe not. A little, bit, a little bit far back, actually. Intestine and stomach on that one. But I wonder if that was the first one I shot or the second one I shot. Alright, that's that one. So, that was the second one. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's random because I'm pretty sure I got it right in behind the front shoulder. That's what it looked like to me. Now we'll go back over and pick up this other one and try and track it down. So I definitely hit it too. Um, dum -dum 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 -dum. Should be over here somewhere. Right there, I would say. Righty, I've got track. Yep, that'll be the one. And blood. Yeah, wait, let me pick up the blood that just wants to... Oh, yeah, there we go, fleeing this way. Should be alright to run a little bit with this one, hopefully, because it's had a bit of a head start, so... Yeah, this is, this is the one that I shot from, like, 240-odd metres away. It was sort of a hit and a hope. Where are we going? Ah, uh, this is where my tracking skill lacks. Because I have such a low tracking skill that it's very hard to follow them. But I swear it went along that way. I'm almost positive it ran along this way somewhere. Yeah, here we go. I knew it. What is this hidden cow hook? Oh no, clean, there we go. Back on the track. Back on the track of the elusive polar bear that just did not want to be shot. Oh, you did go out on the ice, didn't you? Oh no, maybe not. Hope it didn't go out on the ice, because if it went out on the ice, I'm screwed. I'll never get out there and. I think I've got the wrong glasses on today, too, just quietly. I bought the speed glasses, I should have brought the other ones. Where are you? Where are you? You're still coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Awesome, Hasek. Thank you so much, bud. Take it easy, my friend. Picking up the air track. Ah, yes, 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 yes. And now she's roaming again. Oh, holy cow. Yeah, she's like ramming her, right? right? There's another right. one around, yeah. She's dead now. Wow. I did not expect to walk up on her just walking slowly away from me. Yeah, that was that one that I saw before that I thought you'd shut up, but you didn't. Yeah, no, I had. Oh, been, yeah, 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 this is this this one will be shot twice. This is the one that I shot from long distance while you were still tracking the fox. Yeah. And then while I was coming up to pick up the blood from this one, the other one showed up. So I shot her as well. And then yeah. Yeah, two hundred and thirty two meters in the body on the first one. Right hind leg, right lung skull and brain. Well that's not bad, that's a Texas brain shot. Texas brain shot. Yep, yep. Right, right through the back end all the way to the brain. And Jerry's been hunting. Saw six there Monday. Couldn't get a shot. Got some meat. Nice. That's the way, Jerry. That's something I'm very much looking forward to when I go back to New Zealand on a holiday is um, hooking into some venison. Here's another bear track too. I'm just about to pick this one up. Wow, this one wasn't far away by the look of it. wonder if it's gone out on the ice. It'll be gone by now, because... Oh, there's one roaming just here, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's the track that I'm on. It's roamed out towards the ice. But I'm guessing, with the gunshots, it'll be uh, well gone by now. 
Full of run away. No, oh, I see one. Where? Where you see I one? I think. Do I? Yes, I do. 126 meters out. Whereabouts? Where I'm standing. Well, doesn't help me much. Right. I'm coming to you now. Is it out on the ice pack or? That's no, running. It's running? Venison soup. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I'm impressed with the penetration on that as well, Bino. It's, um, it is a nice gun to use. Like I say, I haven't used it a whole lot. That's why I brought it out today. I like to try and break out a new weapon each time I come out. Something that I haven't used a lot of or something different. But, um, yeah, it, I didn't realize it would go all the way through a polar bear. That's, that's that's damn good penetration. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not yet, I don't think, Matthew. Oh, hello, you're running. No wonder you're getting away from me. Where are you looking? Did you shoot it? Yeah. Oh, you shot it already. I didn't even hear the gunshot. Oh. There you go. Uh, somewhere here, there should be a blood pot. I think it ran this way. Yeah, apparently bison meat is very nice. I haven't tried bison meat myself. I've tried a lot of different uh, different meats. Wow, there is just roaming spots and clean spots and blood you got blood yeah so it ran through the water just there I don't just be careful out on the ice mate oh there it is you it's got up it on the bank over there oh it is too look at that it's still alive yep yeah I shot it in the gut just walk up to it and shoot it, make it easier. It won't go anywhere. Oh, see now, venison schnitzel. Mmm, yum. Yum. Very nice. Wow, just, just polar bear tracks everywhere. There is, they're all out and about now. Yeah, couldn't find one. Now we've found three. But where's, where's your boyfriend? That's what we want. I don't want the uh, I don't want the females out here. I want the wizard male. Oh, nice, Matthew. Very nice. Oh, it might be dead now. It was still alive. It was breathing steam through its nose. No, it's dead now. Oh, now it's floating. Two minutes, minutes and forty-two seconds. Twenty-three. That one was a female. Nice. 206 kilos. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, well, it, I don't know. Rear spine and something else, maybe? Because, yeah, it was breathing for a bit there, Bino, and then all of a sudden it decided... Yeah, it was intestines and stomach and stuff. So I don't know. Yeah. No it's, spine. Yeah, it's odd that it was still lying there breathing. Very weird. Yeah, At least they stand out on the ice pack a little. Well, they do. They do. Now, sometimes they don't. When they fall over dead, they tend to. But yeah, when they're still running around and walking around, sometimes you just completely miss them. Is that another shed? Shed? Where? Oh, no, it's a tree. Oh, yeah. Fawn and tree. Yep, yep. Yeah, you'll find a few here and there. You'll find... I don't know how many collectibles you can find in a in a hunt. There's just all sorts lying around. No, Matthew, I wasn't expecting mine when I got mine either. My black tail was my very first diamond on Call of the Wild, um, and I just yeah walked around the corner, saw a deer, shot it in the face, picked it up, diamond. Oh, look at that! Thank you very much. So, your black tails are a yeah, they're not the easiest ones to find in the diamond. And I mean, mine was only a small one. By that, it was only a 950, so... 
The one that uh, just broke then. Yeah, just very, very just. The one that Sean Johns got was huge. Should get up this, get up this hill a little bit. See what's up over here. No, Psycho, it's a bit different on this side of the map. Um, like I say, if you go to the other side of the map, you can run around and you'll find animals left, right and center, basically because you're running around. You cover a lot more ground a lot quicker. Um, out on this side, the animals are all skittish, so you don't get the opportunity to sort of sprint around, so therefore you don't see as many. And like I say, I haven't spent a whole lot of time on this side of the map. White Rhyme Ridge for me is pretty much the other side where I can chase animals that chase me. So I've got to really come out here and spend a bit more time looking for foxes and bunny rabbits and whatnot. But I mean, hey, I've got a mountable fox today, so that's a bonus. I'll mount that one after the stream and see how we go. I've still yet to find a really big snowshoe here. And yes, I wouldn't mind a hair to add to the, the rabbit collection yeah well you've got a european and a cottontail don't you yep yeah see i don't have either of those yet i've got still got to go out and find and i've got a dog to go and find them and i still don't have rabbits i'm pretty slack really i need to get out there and find rabbits but did i get up and dance um surprisingly matthew yeah i did i i really did um we were all in the discord at that stage and if you don't know what discord i'm talking about have a look under the uh under the stream and you will find all the links for the discords in there zaggy's discord flinter's discord and of course the discord i'm talking about the barber shop best place in the net by far these discords are just fantastic um we were all in there and uh yeah i was over the moon i had the first diamond out of the boys so I was quite stoked with that myself, Beard and uh, Mr. Riki over there. I was very pleased. Got up and sort of yelled a little bit and yeah. <laughs> Your only diamond is a kudu. How much time have you got on um, Call of the Wild, Dobino? Like I'm, I'm, you've got hundreds and hundreds of hours in classic, obviously, but. How many hours have you spent in Call of the Wild? Just in the trees and snow. When was the last time we were in Civilization? Yeah, yeah, we were in Civilization at the very beginning of the screen. We started at my hunter's hut, the lodge there. Picked up a few things, made our, made our journey out into the woods. Of course, then I had to go back to my hunter's lodge because, you know, like a Wally, I forgot my face mask. <laughs> hey, Ooh. what's that I pick up? There's something there to pick up. There was. There was like a track there that I went over or something. Yeah, I ran over. Fox track. Did it again. Fox track. Weird, it's not sh my tracks are just not showing up. Okay. Hmm. Not all of them are uh, showing up as blue domes for me. Yeah. You gotta wonder if this is my fox. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is the one that was fleeing. The fox that the fox that <laughs> I winged. <laughs> Level sixteen. Forty one hours and fourteen hundred and sixty seven hours in classic. Wow. There you go, see, I mean, 41 hours in Call of the Wild, you've got a diamond, that's not bad. That's, that's pretty good odds at level 16. It took 16. me 500. Yep. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how long it took me. It was lots and lots of hours. <laughs> that's all I can say. It was, it was more hours than I'd care to count, just quietly. What's that up there? Is that a tree branch? Yes, it is. That's all right. Didn't want to lose a shit if there was one up there. I'm running close to a thousand hours in Call of the Wild now, and I'm not really a hundred percent sure what I've got in Classic. It wouldn't be that much. My Hunter score is only fifteen hundred and something. Yeah, I think I've got about sixty-five hours. 
so but I'm getting up there like I say I love this game and uh, I will be buying another subscription to it once my sub once my sub runs out Ooh. yeah that's that's our little Roman Fox she's just up around the corner here or he I don't know but I'll give it a call see if we can get it to come back You got about 400 to 450 in Call of the Wild, Psycho. Um, <laughs> diamonds in Call of the Wild, you can go looking for them. And um, if you know where previous ones have spawned, it's very possible to get diamonds quite easily um, with like feed and need zone stacking and stuff, you know. Other than that, it, it, there's there's a high high chance of luck involved right place right time i mean my white tail me and riki were uh she's sitting down to dinner having something to eat and we'd had his stream for the day and what did we get you on was that the day you got your diamond bison could have been i think I mean, it was actually i think we got him a diamond bison off my map and uh <clears throat> We're sitting down at dinner and he said to me, well, we, we're streaming your, your Call of the Wild tomorrow on uh, my map, so what diamond would you like? And I, of course, jokingly said I'd like a white tail because, you know, I've got a black tail, I'd like a white tail. So we went out and uh, a white tail was there. Right place, right time. And then, of course, the uh, following stream, he asked non-inspirational what diamond he'd like. And non-inspirational said he'd like an elk. So we went out and found an elk, diamond elk for non. It was quite, um, it was quite freaky for a time there. We thought Ricky might have been the diamond whisperer. <laughs> Just getting diamonds for everyone yeah, else. You, what diamond would you like now, sir? Oh, thank you very much. Here you go. But uh, no, no, it stopped after that, unfortunately. It did. Couldn't get it to go three times in a row. But yeah, that there, there's a lot of chance and a lot of luck involved. Um, and like I say, once. Once you've got locations where you know they spawn, then yeah, you, you're right. You can go back to those locations and you may not find it the first time you go back. You may not find it the second time you go back, but guaranteed it will show up there or at least in one of those feed and need zones at some stage. I tend to kind of wipe out a lot of my zones um, with my hunting style. So yeah, that's the way, Mrs. B. That's the way. You've got to ask nicely, and that, that's a very nice way of asking. But, um, like I say, it just it hasn't worked for us since. We can try. We can certainly give it a whirl. I don't like our chances on this fuck. No, not really, but I'm following it anyway. I mean, we've got to go this way anyway to see if we can find some more dull sheep and whatnot, but yeah. I'm just sort of creeping for the sake of he might be up here he barked before might be dead too yet if it's the one that I shot before because it will die eventually I'm sure it will it'll wait till I leave the game and then it'll drop dead just so Doc writes me a nasty letter yep yeah, whatever Doc and his letters oh 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 I see it I see it See it. I see it, and I don't know if it's... Oh, actually, that looks like it might be a blue. Or, no, surely not. Stop, mate, stop. It's dead now. That just looked really weird in my, uh, in my sights. I'd say that was just my graphics playing up, because it's definitely white when it fell over. Would have been the shadows on it. Oh, online for our yeah, Red Dead Redemption. Yep, this is the one that I shot in the left hind leg. And then I shot it in the tail. And then I finished it off. So, I'll be getting no nasty letters from Doc. Okay, we need to go out this way a little bit. Doc can... Uh, Yep. Sorry, Psycho. I had to put it down, man. I'd injured it and wounded it, and it needed to be put down to be put out of its own misery. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. 
Uh, Jerry, to be honest, um, my honest opinion of the online for RDR2, I really don't... Uh, I don't want to say it's going to be bad, but if it's anything like GTA, which is, of course, the other Rockstar game, then it's going to be atrocious. It's just going to be... Yeah. It'll be all right if you can play with just your friends online. But if it's anything like the toxic community that became GTA 5, then online is probably not going to be a great deal of fun for a lot of people. No, you'll have morons just griefing you all the time, I think. Yep. Yeah. GTA had the potential to be an absolutely fantastic online multiplayer game. Um, no, it's raining. Is it right? Oh, it is too. Look at that. In real life, people. In real life. It's, it's not raining here. So. Yeah, not raining. In, uh, sorry. Well, Confused everyone. weird weather. It was stinking hot about 20 minutes ago. It was. And yeah, I know you're feeling, Bino. Um, like I say, I've been oh, trying, yeah. to, trying to get back into Classic and have a few games on Classic and maybe even get a bit of recording because I could probably record Classic. It's one of the games that doesn't stress my computer too much. Um, but then Farming Sim came out and was kind we've got our own server it's sort of yeah now i've got to run a farm and try and hunt and do everything else and of course i start work again on monday yay for me i finally got a job it's been 18 months out of work um of course only uh probably four months or five months of that was you know me actually being out of work the rest of it was me being injured um but yes, I finally get to go back to work Monday, so a lot of my gaming time has now been cut away. Yep, you'll be like me. Yep. Well, you'll be worse than me, because at least I finish at three in the afternoon. I get stuff done in the hours. Thanks. Thanks, bud. Yeah, no it's worries. Muchly appreciated, mate. You want to, but, you, want to, you, you know, take you'll be blue still in bed when I, I, go to bed, I go to work, so, you know, yeah, sort yeah. of works out. Yeah, not for the first week or two. But yes, so uh, I understand that one entirely, Bino. Too many games, not enough time. Need to become a full-time gamer. And unfortunately, I'm just not good enough to be a full-time gamer. I don't have the reaction time that it requires to be someone that uh, that plays the shooty games and whatnot and the League of Legends and stuff that uh, you can be a full-time gamer for. Well, you can do this. We're just going to get bigger channel well you know hey one day one day maybe if my channel grows big enough what the, are they trees over there yeah, the trees my channel grows big enough i might be able to do it one day you know i'm not expecting that for a very long time if ever but uh i do it for the enjoyment factor more than anything else it's great to uh hang out with everybody That's right, Jerry. And uh, yeah, Bino, yeah, friends only server would be brilliant. I would, uh, I'd, I'd get all over that. I mean, I probably would be playing GTA 5 if that was the case. Because I did like the game, but I didn't like the single player. I, I thought the story mission was, um, in my opinion, a bit droll and boring. Um, oh, I didn't mind the story mission. Yeah, no, I didn't really groove on it. Um, but the online, I it's the multiplayer thing and I mean it's, it's the same with this FS19 now that we've found you can play multiplayer the way we play it um, i.e. working on everybody else's farms it's fantastic so that was that's that's my big thing is multiplayer but it was such I mean I spawned in and got killed like 20 times without even being able to get to me unit and then when I got to me unit I didn't want to go outside again so Flair's been playing Red Dead Redemption a lot for um, quite a long time now. He's, pretty much since he picked it up, that's what Flair does. He loves that game. He's all over it. He just wanders into town, slaughters everybody. And yes, Sean, one day. One day, mate, one day. Like I say, at the moment, it's it's all about hanging out with everybody in the stream, having a, having a yarn, having a yak. 
It's having a good time. Having a laugh at my expense when I screw up things and whatnot. And uh, believe me, I screw up more than I get right. Um, so, yeah. That's right, Bino. Along with, uh, you know, trying to play games, you've got to try and juggle everybody's streams and videos and everything else in at the same time. And I've found with certain games it's okay, you can have a video running in the background, bit of YouTube going off, it's no problems. But uh, other games, hunting, things like that, I would like to be able to concentrate, and I just can't do I can't do, um, I like to play Battlefield 1, and I struggle to be in a voice chat in Battlefield 1 unless I've got people in a squad with me, because I just get lost in the game, and I don't pay any attention to anything but what's going on in the game, so... Bino is going to go and play a Mates FS19 server after the stream. Oh, nice, Bino. Nice. Make yourself a farm. Make yourself an admin. And then do the contract work on your mate's farm. You can um, allow them to be... I'm a contractor. Yeah, allow contractors on your farm and get them to allow you on their farm. And then you can use all their gear and all their paddocks just like you would yours. And yes, you're welcome to come along, Sean. Oh, definitely, Sean. More than welcome that to come along. That would be cool. Yep. Like I say, it's just... It is a beautiful game. I mean, considering it's nigh on 10 years old, it, it holds its own. It really does. And if you're willing to put a bit of coin into it, and not everybody is, um, a lot of people don't want to pay money to play games these days. They just want to buy the game and be done with it and that's you know fair enough i used to be a lot like that but i also did spend a lot of money on subscriptions thousands, thousands of on dollars warcraft yep so i don't mind coughing out i think it works out to what about 60 bucks a year for us which is and yes non is a good contractor there matthew oh non's a top contractor he's a rough as guts driver but he's a top contractor <laughs> you don't want them driving your vehicles or anything you might roll them over although I roll them over as well and so does Ricky so we really can't talk <laughs> where, are, where are we on the map ok are oh, yeah, we coming down here cool, that's, that's but yes that is true Sean we do have a lot of callers these days I've actually got different ones to what Rex got Yeah. with our set ups for our goose and our magpie geese so I'm in you can always jump on there and yeah well there's always the geese shooting to do i've got moose callers i've got deer callers i've got always turkeys got the dog. but uh yeah like i say let us know we'll um we'll have to organize it of course now now with everything it'll have to be organized <laughs> we'll have to have to plan these outings now yeah. sean we're like this this time you know sweet it's time zone things just really suck i hate time zones i really do Is this an old game, says Matt Who? This is an old game. I believe this came out in 2009. So it's almost 10 years old. Um, and you you, graphics you just sure. wouldn't know. I mean, for, geez, 10 years ago, we would have thought this was the bee's knees of graphics. This would have been like, far out. Look at this. And if you go back to some of the older maps, they're not quite as clean and crisp. But, there you um, go. Oh, wait. Jerry Can said. Oh wait, there you go. So it is ten years old. It is ten years old, definitely. Well, there you go. I did not know that. I thought it came out oh nine. See the advertiser when you put it up on YouTube and use it as a tag. It says oh nine. Oh nine. Yeah. Weird. There you go. Um, we're gonna have to go for a run, man, because we got nothing. We got nothing. No. That's right. Because if we get nothing, we'll just swap back to the other lodge. We've got half an hour to go. We can always swap back to the other lodge and go for a run and try and find a moose or a bison. Oh. Um, that's Dal sheep calling out straight out here. Okay, so we don't want to run anymore. Yep. I thought they might be up in this area, but I They're wasn't sure. Up near the um, up in that clump of trees, I think. Yeah, they'll be up over the top of this this rise over here. Oh. Oh, I see a rabbit and a doll sheep. You see a rabbit and a doll sheep. Two doll sheep. I see a doll sheep and a rabbit. Yes. 
there's another bell sheep down in there as well. I just want to see if I can, yeah, I can see that. I just want to see if I can get a mark on this rabbit. No, I'm going to have to use the spotting scope. It's 115 out for the rabbit. Yeah, well, I don't think I'll be trying to shoot the rabbit with a 22. No, not from that far. It's Those a female, and they'll, oh yeah, they're, they're small. They'll be females, I would say, both of them. I'll just get a mark yep. on that one, yep. That's cool, we can make our way over that way. Either, 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 either. Either, 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 either. Yep. And yes, yes, Sean, unfortunately, schedules will become a thing. Should I say fortunately schedules? Oh, there's three sheep. There is. Um, they're all little horns. Yeah, they're all females. Rabbits everywhere, already. Is there? Is there rabbits everywhere? Yeah, over to the left there was more rabbits. There's another rabbit sitting under a tree over there, 126 out. Just popped his head up. Oh, Eagle Eye Riggy over here now. Oh, Dal Sheep. There's one, two. I think there's more than three. Yeah, there's, there's, probably... Four. Oh. yeah there's probably a few. We'll see how far we can sneak up. Might go around this way, around to the right of that big rock. Sort of come yep. up from behind them, maybe. We might be able to get a bit of view on them. Well, there's one standing there now. And yeah, well, it's it's quite surprising they didn't do a 10 year anniversary, Bina. I was, um, yeah, quite surprised now that I know it is 10 years old that they didn't. They seem to celebrate everything else. They do the Halloween, there was the turkeys for Thanksgiving. There's, um, that's, that's the other good thing about it. I mean, there's always missions to do. There's always competitions to do. Um, it's just, it, it's, a, it's a never ending game. It's fantastic. You joined classic when white rhyme was new and yet you still have how many hours did you say? Good grief. That's some dedication, Bina. Oh. That sheep's right in front of me. It's looking at me. Um, yeah, there's one right in front of me, too, somewhere. Well, there was. Dead now. Cool. Roger that. Yeah, I got burped at just as I walked down the hill here. And Matt Hoos says, in his province, it's buck season. Are you going out hunting, Matt? Or are you going out with... Uh, are you going out or are you going out with your dad or... You can pick that one up if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll wander over to where you are. I'm just... Oh, hang on. Little. Hang on, hang on. We might be able to knock another one over here yet. Oh, there's a few up on the hill. There's one down. That one. That was the one that I looked at. That was... Oh, it's rolling down the hill. That was the one you were looking at? Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty tricky. Yeah, yeah, as I said, I was like, well, we might as well knock it over. Well, they might celebrate it at the end of the year, that's right. It may, it may or may not be 10 years exactly. Just be a little female. Body, shoulder blade, left lung, right lung, and intestines. Nice shot. Nice shot. Then we're going to pick up this other randomly running one that's now sliding down the mountainside. Okay, so November or December. Well, I'll keep my eye out for that then. I'll um, I'll be all over doing Christmas competitions. That'll be great fun. Mmm. Because I'm sure they'll send us out in the snow. And I like the snow. Oh, your cousins both shoot, and your your dad likes fishing. That's fair enough, Matt. I'd love to be able to hunt over here myself. Unfortunately, getting a uh, getting a rifle license in Australia is not as easy as it could be. Um, but I will be heading back to New Zealand sometime this next year. And when I do, I will be going out and doing a bit of hunting. So I will uh, I'll get some photos and video and whatnot else and chuck it up on the Discord and bits and pieces while I'm over there. I don't know exactly when I'm going, but I do know that when I get there, I can go hunting with my brother-in-law. Um, just off the back of his farm, apparently. They've got a bunch of fellow deer and red deer. So, nice. 
Shoulder blade, right lung. Hey, 25 harvest with the 300. Look at that. Alright. We'll go this way. Keep your eye out. We might be able to see some bunnies down in that um, open area, maybe. Don't yeah, know. they are. They are? What We've are you... one already. Really? Yeah, straight ahead of us. Really? 223 out. Oh, wow. Wow, that is some um, amazing spotting there, man. I'm going to stay up on the top side of this. Look at this, eh? I didn't bring Eagle Eye Non with me today. I bought Eagle Eye Riki instead. He's usually, yep. he's usually bear baits. The reason I brought him, don't tell him I didn't. I didn't tell him that I was bringing him out here because he's bear bait and we wanted polar bears. Polar but bear bait. We didn't, well, we did see polar bears. Not as many as I would have liked to have seen. I would have liked to have seen a nice big male out here, but that's fine. We can do that at another stage. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go on my next classic run. Um, I'll have Call of the Wild next week, of course, and then classic the week after, but... Oh, sheep straight across the ridge. 140 from us. Good grief. Female. Running up that mountain. Oh, wow. So you reckon you can knock her over? There's actually another one higher than that as well. Oh, yes, there is. The dark well, stuff. Which one do you want to shoot, then? I'll go with the one up right up on top if you want. You'll go with the one right up the top. Okay, and I'll go with the one down here. Let me know when you're ready. Yep. All right, three, two, one. Oh, mine's still running. No, there she goes. Oh, there's another one running. Mine's sliding. Nope, we missed that by a mile. Yep, that one's down. That one got it down? Yep, that, that fell down dead. Must have got it on that second shot. Must have. It was nice. <laughs> there we go. I got that other one, but I think it was glitched the first time I shot it, so I shot it the second time, and then it just started rolling down the hill. Hey, Nate Drake is in the house. Welcome to the stream, Nate. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. What's this, Jerry? Remember the exact date release of Call of the Wild, March 19, 2018? No, 17. Yeah, I thought so. I didn't think it was 18. Was it, was it March 2017? Yes, yes because yeah. we started playing in October. Yeah, August, October. There you go. When wow. Jack first brought it to his channel and we got interested. And Nate says tomorrow's the last day for rifle in Vermont. Yeah, it says good thing about New Zealand, we don't have a rifle season. Because red deer are a natural pest to the environment, we're allowed to go out and shoot as many as we like. Um, I'm not sure on the fallow deer, but uh, yeah, the red deer definitely. Look at that, they both came down together. Who's the other one? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll pick this one up. I think you got this as well. Oh, no, I got this one. You got that one? Yeah. And the shoulder blade. Where's the other one? It's here. Oh, look at that. It's hidden in the snow. And that was you and you. 139 and 143. Both body shots. Nice. Yeah, Good. well, the first one, it just sort of hit it and did nothing. Let's see where it was. The marks up the side of the hill. Yeah. There's another one up there. I love the way yeah. you can almost climb a mountain. Almost. You can go Can't. up. Can't oh no, this it. is another one. Oh, this is it. This is the one I got as well. I was going to say, I thought we got three. Well, slide down the mountain. And that was you in the neck bone. Yeah, see, I don't think I got it the first time. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. There There's... You go. Three more, uh, three more dull sheep cleaned up off the map there. But yeah, like I was saying, red deer are a um, pest species, so we don't have any open season, closed season. Um, of course, the uh, trophy hunters like to go down the South Island during the rut, because that's where the real big boys are. And when I say big boys, I mean huge. 
They are just ridiculous. I would not want to be in the bush. I don't even know how they walk through the bush with the um, antlers on them. I really don't. Matthew wants to know what made us decide to become YouTubers. Um, to be honest with you, Matt, it's something we've talked about for a very, very, very long, long time. I've watched YouTubers play games and uh, quite often we've sat there and thought, well, you know, shit, we, we play games. We, we can do that. That's, you know, and it boiled down to I met Jaxie. I was stuck at home on a work injury, uh, playing Car Mechanic Simulator, and I came across Jaxie's stream one day. I wrote a comment, and he answered me within about 10 or 15 seconds, which, quite frankly, I was really impressed with, the fact that a YouTuber had answered. We got to talking, we got to knowing each other, we ended up on Discord, Ricky got to know him, he ended up on Discord, we got to know the entire Bearded family, wonderful that they all are, um, and it went from there. They sort of, Beard kept saying, you know, you should do it, you should do it, you should do it. We need to start a community. You should do it, you should do it. And of course, so Ricky did. Got it up and going. Well, we then said, well, how do we do it? <laughs> so then we actually got a lot of help to start with. Yep. Yeah. What it's... programs to use and everything. I mean, yeah, that was so helpful to start with. It, it, it really is a lot easier than most people think. It's a matter of like, like, Ricky said, you know, having somebody point you in the right direction, um, give you the right programs and the right advice and just be there, be there to talk to when you need to know, Hey, look, I've done this and ah, what's happening. You know, so Beard was fantastic for that. And of course, Ricky started and once he'd started and got going, well, <laughs> I got the pressure. I got the pressure because <laughs> of course I was on a lot of beard streams. I was on Riki streams. I was on everybody's streams. And so, you did have the better PC at the time too. I did. I did have the semi satellite launcher at the time. Um, so yeah, I just started doing it one day. We do it because we love doing it. We love hanging out with all you people. Um, I just enjoy gaming in general. It doesn't really matter what game I'm playing provided I can play with a bunch of people. Some games I won't play just because they don't interest me. Other games I'll jump in just because the multiplayer is there and I get to hang out with me mates. And that's the way, Matt. Study computers now. For all you kids in school, do computers. Yeah, get is, into programming. And yep, it is going to be the way the world Editing, travels. Learn how to edit. If you can do it all, <coughs> you will be valuable. Another fox. Oh, look, there it is there. What if we can get it to come to us? Hey, old fox. Um, yeah, I wish we'd had half the advantages you guys have got these days for school. Um, I do believe my school had six Commodore 64s. Uh, we learnt how to program a ball bouncing around the screen. That was pretty much the limit of our programming skills. A bit of Pong. No, it wasn't even Pong, man. It was like a um, screensaver oh, of a, yeah, of a yeah. ball bouncing ball around, around your screen. screen yep. So Same you could learn. Colors. Yep, what? yep. And that was the programming we learned in school. And they, yeah, <laughs> go out in the world with that, guys. Here you go. Nowadays, oh, I'm so envious. I wish I could go back to school um, and do it all over again with the gear that you have and the teachers that are able to teach you things so yeah you want to do auto mechanics computers or dentistry out of those three jerry dentistry mate dentistry 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 they are the people that make more money than anybody else i can think of they charge an absolute bloody fortune auto mechanics yeah they're a lot of fun if you like tinkering with things and getting in and getting greasy and getting dirty. Um, computers, obviously, is going to be the future. You're going to be living on Mars, so, you know. There ain't going to be no cars, so you don't want to do auto mechanics. People are going to still need good teeth, though, so dentists will be needed. They will. I don't know if this fox is going to come in or not, but we'll give it a go. Oh. And Bino, that is probably the hardest thing 
trying to talk to yourself. Yeah. But every video you do, it gets easier and easier, trust me. It feels very strange to do it to start with. It does. <laughs> you feel like a complete moron sitting there talking to the computer screen. But, you know, you just pretend you're doing a live stream and you're yakking to the people out there and you know, da 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 But, uh, yeah, as Riggy said, it's a practice thing. I still don't have it down packed yet. Um, oh, no, I'm nowhere near it. The beard, the beard has it down packed. That, that man knows exactly what he's doing. That voice, that voice gets yeah, you. Flinter and Zaggy. Yep, Flinter and Zaggy as well. All three of them have got it down now. And it's funny because you go back and watch some of Flinter's earlier videos and it's like, huh. Oh, I see it. Yes, so do I. It's only 45 there. I'm just wondering, it's a female, you can shoot it if you like. You know, 17, you've got to have the HMR and you've got to have the yeah. HV bullets in I it. Do. I do, okay. I do. I don't. Oh, you got her. Yep, I did get her. Might have only got her in the leg though. Oh well, we're going to see what we can see. <laughs> Matthew failed computer class. The textbook still had the uh, plastic on it when he gave it back. I'm an ICT, which is computer science. Nice. At the end of the day, if I can do this, it can, yeah, anyone with a little bit of computer knowledge can do it. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the smartest tool in the shed. No. Uh, like I say, I can program a uh, a random dot bouncing around your screen. In fact, I don't even know if I could do that anymore. But um, yeah, the program, the pro OBS is so user friendly, um, and YouTube is slowly but surely becoming more user friendly. So it's just the confidence, the want to get out there and uh, have a laugh. At the end of the day, the want to hang out with people. Obviously, I'd like to record a whole lot more than I do. Um, unfortunately with the games the way they are at the moment my mini satellite launcher is no longer a satellite launcher it's now a ground com ground control computer so it struggles with the new games and i just can't get a decent frame rate for uh, any recording unfortunately and yeah there's nothing wrong with being a mechanic there Bino. oh no i'm actually a um boiler maker metal fabricator so and i love doing what i do making things every day honestly Bino I could do with one of you right now I have a car sitting in the driveway that stopped and hasn't started again since so yeah I I'm, I'm you know I could electronic. do with electronic yeah it could be electronic it could be fuel it could be spark plug it could be blinging anything I just don't know and thank you very much Mrs. B we appreciate everything that, uh, you know, the Bearded family has done for us and the community in general. Sean Johns, the non-inspirationals, the Killer Bees, the Carriuses, the Tingos, the Flares. Without any of those people, our community just wouldn't be what it is. But it is by far, in my opinion, the best community on the internet. This is a place, like I say, I have spent the last 18 months of my life. Pretty much it has been my family. Something else up there. Did your fox flee into the water? Probably. Stupid fox. No, I'm the watery. Down the edge. She may not die too, because it was a body shot. Yeah. She will die. But just, she may not die until Doc gets to send you a letter. Ah, I can see it. Hang on. Hang on. I can see it. She walking. Uh, no, she's just standing, but I shall put her out of her misery for you. Hopefully. Oh, that's a long shot with this gun. Oh, yeah. 150. She's yep. down now. Nicely done. Thank you very much. Track on this because that will go good for me. Well, that's, that's right. That's It's good for tracking skills. There is actually two here, so... Your dad's a welder and your mum's a teacher, Jerry? Nice. Nice. I, I, I think if my mother had been a teacher, though, she probably would have killed me. So it was a good thing she wasn't. Um, and I forgot Incentive. Yes, I did. True. There's another one of the community creators, Incentive. And, of course, Julia Child, 
we've got so many of them the, the list is just endless with the way we're going and it's just fantastic dizzy um, juke dizzy juke there's another one uh batch lone gamer um yeah we need to get him in a little bit more into the Dang fold gg yep it just never ends just so um many. where has incentive been i'm not sure he's still floating around with zaggy as far as i know i think he picked up fs uh fs19 and then refunded it because it just wasn't his style and thank you sean wasn't a bad shot. I'd, it's, a, it's a bit of a smaller scope than I'm used to on that one. Of course, because on the uh, 300, I have the super zoom. This thing is just phenomenal. You can. This is this is the long distance scope for shooting over 300 meters, and it is fantastic. Of course, you put on the other scopes, and it's like, geez, I can't see. What am I doing? Sandra. Sandra, Buddha, Tough, Ting. Yeah, see, the name, of, the names of people in our community that just make the community what it is. It's just amazing. Um, and yeah, as for uh, you, Bino, having a crappy car, most mechanics I know own a uh, yeah a crappy car. My mate's the same with panel beaters. My mate's a uh, A grade panel beater, and his car looks like it's been run into about a dozen times. So, you guys just seem to take care of everybody else's business, but not your own. Oh, my <coughs> father was probably an exception to that rule. Well, yeah, your father's got OCD, though. Yeah. But he's, a mechanic. he's a mechanic by trade, but he was uh, ex-military. That's, so that's the other thing. He's got to be done by the book. Yep. <laughs> ex, Ex-military men will uh, be like that, yes. Right, so can we get across here anywhere, or do we have to go for a run around? Anything over that side uh, of the water? No, no. I don't think you can get across here at all. All right, let's go for a quick run around here and see what we can find in the last five minutes or so. And it is an almost endless list, Bino, you're right. And that's the thing, you can you can bounce between streams, you can bounce between mine on a Saturday, Ricky's on a Friday, Beard's on a Tuesday and a Thursday, Sean John's on a Wednesday, Zaggy on a Sunday. Flinter Not on a Thursday with his premieres. Yep, Flinter on a Tuesday and whenever else he decides to, you know, whack up a stream and he's also got all his videos, so there is always something to watch doesn't matter where you are or when you are there's always something to watch and well zaggy's right there yep yeah, of course zaggy's He's right the there ears were burning <laughs> again and mrs b well yeah i mean look there is only one mrs b without mrs b the community would be a whole lot quieter she may not be a gamer she plays at discord and she plays it like a champ so the one the only <laughs> no, now it's his daughter that's messed up his sleeping schedule, Sean. Although FS seventeen may have something to do with uh, nineteen may have something to do with it as well. It's possible. It's certainly messed with my sleeping over the last oh, three or four days. Yes, it has. I think it was one o'clock when I went to bed last night. Yeah, yeah. Ten it's... past one because Sean actually came on right <laughs> as I was going to bed. <laughs> uh, that's classic. I'm sure we only sat down at like nine o'clock and did a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, next thing you know, it's one a.m. One a.m. in the morning. It's like wow, really? Because it's just one of those games. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. Yeah, I've just got to fertilise that paddock. I've just got to plough this one. I've just got to plant that. And then next thing you know, it's the following day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, Mrs. B is a phenomenal shoes to be. No, I took her out. Um, actually the very first time I took her out and I pointed out a moose I just pointed out a moose I didn't expect her to shoot said moose because you know I knew she didn't have anything other than the 243 on her oh, no 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 problems there Bang, we just drop dead. smack that dead moose in the heart drop it dead not a problem no worries whatsoever I mean I, I didn't even consider taking on a moose when I had the 243 here she is just dropping them no worries yeah sweet so yeah, yeah, phenomenal shot. Um, you've got to be really quick. That's all I can say. If you go out shooting with Mrs. B, you've got to be really quick. If you point the animal out, you want to be aiming at it when you point it out. Otherwise, it's going to be dead before you get a chance to get a gun up and shoot at it. What time is it for us right now? It is 5 to 2 in the afternoon on a Sunday. Matt? 
We are in Australia on the Queensland coast. Oh, that's a Sitka deer. Really? Did I bring the deer gun? I think I did. Did I bring the deer gun? Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't bring the deer gun because I didn't think I was going to be looking for Sitka deer. I just oh, bought I didn't the fox bring a deer or anything. Well, it's 5 a.m. for Zaggy. Well, you know, hey, that's that's better than 3 a.m. <laughs> like it was. Um, Bino, if you're having trouble, remove all the maps off your um, SciTech and remap everything. Rekt found out that if you do that, you have no problems with joystick, keyboard, uh, yeah. mouse, and steering wheel. Yep, yep, I've got it all plugged in. Um, just, just unmap go everything off it and start again yeah just go through and where you've got gamepad unmap everything off the gamepad controller because you don't want the gamepad controller you want to use your steering wheel and your joystick and your mouse and your keyboard it um, does conflict yeah and certain ones that you want to use just your joystick or just your steering wheel for then you need to unmap them from the mouse control as well so it's um it took a little bit of working out but I got that frustrated with trying to use the mouse on a um, on a forklift that I sat down last night and went through and it was like, okay, that's what I need to wipe out off there. I need to remove that off there. So it's basically just clear your key bindings, clear your key bindings on your game pads and start again, but not on your keyboard and your mouse. Leave those ones as they are. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a, ah, night, Zaggy. No, buddy, I'm going to take this Sitka deer. I don't know if I'm allowed to shoot it with the 300. Hello? Um, what else did I bring with me? The 223. I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to shoot it with the 300. Is that an No. <laughs> Two. Yeah. Yeah, I hit it. I haven't had a legal hit so far. So maybe you can. It's still running. Still running. Yeah, there's 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 a few of them. It'll it'll go down. Thank you for tuning in, Zozaggy. And uh, yeah, for anyone that wants to know, at the end of the stream, have a look on the uh, in the details below the video, and you will find Zaggy's Discord and his channel link. Yes, I unmapped all my steering wheel and started again. It just has made life so much easier just unmapping everything because it doesn't conflict. Hmm. Yeah, the confliction was a problem. They are working on it. I did see a uh, tweet from the FS19 team the other day. They are aware of the issue. Um, hey, Zaggy. Zaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to bed. It's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> see you, buddy. Thank you so much for tuning in. You're a legend. Yeah, you don't want to know, Bino. Yeah, no, 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 no. Please, no. Don't, don't ask. <laughs> no, yeah. You don't need. No, no. It's no, I, I, I've one of the things that's happened though that that still has that that will always stick in my memory as one of the best nights on Discord. It will. That that was a night to uh, never be repeated. <laughs> God help us if we do. But uh, yes, it was fun. Just a random night. So, we'll go and see if we can find this Sitka, and that'll probably just about draw us to the end of the stream. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't shot a whole lot of animals on this one, but uh, that is the way with Classic. It is not as simple as Call of the Wild, and uh, even Call of the Wild's getting to that point now, though. It's not as simple as it used to be, where you could just run around and get animals everywhere. They sort of get a little bit more skittish and a bit more spooked. It was basically your introduction to us, Saggy. It was, yes. And our introduction to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what an entrance, my friend. What an entrance. <laughs> um, yeah, Bino, what it'll do, it won't actually say it conflicts, but if you press a button that you want to use, it should say Look down in the, the bottom, bottom corner. Yeah, it'll say bottom right -hand corner. this button is already mapped or this button, if you map it to this, it's already mapped to that as well. And it should tell you. Oh, really? A body shot? Are you kidding me? That's all good, Jerry Can. There is no demonetization. <laughs> because no. there is no monetization. That, that's right. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not monetized, my friend. I need. Uh... Oh, there it is. Look at that. It died real quick. 
Uh, you need thousands of subscribers to be monetized, but I don't, I don't hit that yet, so it's all good. Silver Moon's just turned up. Oh, that's a nice. Answer. Hey, Silver. Unfortunately, you've arrived just at the end of the stream. This is the last animal. Just a little Sitka there that we dropped with the 300. Didn't drop in a very nice position, unfortunately. Not look too bad, though. Elo to be a 58 kilo. 53.5 score. Yep. Your life will never be the same. I don't think my life will ever be the same, Zaggy. Um, yeah. Yeah. You, Flinter, the Bearded Family, and Discord have changed my life irrevocably <laughs> forever. I can say that honestly. In a good way, though. In, In a good, good way. way, definitely. Definitely. But on that note, folks, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you all so much for your support. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll be back again on Call of the Wild next week. I'm not quite sure where we're going. I won't know that until I wake up on Sunday morning and decide we're going there. All right, folks, take it easy. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a great day. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.